guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be the anniversary Nordstrom anniversary sale haul um, I don't have a Nordstrom near me where I live so I just order things online and I just received the package yesterday and I kind of opened it up and went through the things so yeah I just thought I'm gonna share with you very casually today but before I do it um, I also um, not too long ago I actually purchased a Tory Burch bag and I posted a photo on the Insta Instagram so I thought I'll share with you the purchase first because I think it's so beautiful so I've got a peritot and you guys know that um, I hope you know the peritot is pretty much discontinued um, when I finally decided to, that I wanted that bag they were pretty much gone so um, Whatever they had on sale, they sold out and, you know, all you can do it's most of the time is just like pre-owned, but I didn't really want to buy pre-owned. Um, so I was lucky enough, I actually found one on uh, Tretsy and this one was brand new and I, the original price of those bags is $300, was $395. I purchased this, I believe I paid $280. So, you know, it's like you get a little <laughs> sale. So I really love the color. As you can see, it's like a, it's like a nice like cognac kind of color and has this very subtle Tory Burch logo. And obviously it's all beautifully stuffed. Um, it's very pretty inside. I think I'm gonna keep that stuffing because it's good when you don't use the bag just to, you know, so it's not gonna get wrinkled. But I just wanted to show you guys, it has this really beautiful, like a um, light gold metallic insides so, so yeah i think it's very very beautiful it's very simple back there's no feet it has only like um a snap closure here um but and has you know like a little pocket here but i think it's really really nice so i'm gonna definitely be enjoying this bag and i'm very happy that i was able to um find it brand new and you know and i'm very happy yeah <laughs> okay so let's go now to the uh Nordstrom haul so this year I didn't really purchase a lot of stuff, um, I just didn't feel like there was anything in particular that I was, you know, kind of obsessed with, um, so, but I still managed to spend quite a bit of the money. <laughs> I'm not sure if I will keep all the items though, that, but I wanted to share with you and just maybe see what you guys think, just to get your opinion. So anyway, um, I got only one cosmetic item which I was a little bit on the fence if I actually should buy it or not. This is by uh, Charlotte Til Tilbury uh, and this is the uh, bronze and the blush glow. So this is like a little set and this is actually I'm wearing it today. So, <clears throat> and I'm actually very pleasantly surprised that this, this actually worked out. So it comes with this little um, I would say useless uh, brush so obviously I didn't use it and then here's the compact itself it's really beautiful I never had anything from Charlotte Tilbury so um, you know you never know what to expect so this is how it looks so you have pretty much a bronzer and the blush and the bronzer you guys it's very very light even when I was like looking at the um, uh, you know the photos on the internet it looks extremely light so when I opened it I wasn't sure if it's gonna work for me but I think it does it's probably you're not gonna see it probably much but it's right there and then the blush is very beautiful it's very subtle but quite pigmented so these are the, the swatches um, so like I said I'm wearing both today and um, I think it works perfectly for like a fair skin people light skin people I would probably skip for if you have like a darker tone um, the bronzer might not show up the blush will probably show up but not the bronzer so but uh, this is definitely a keeper so um, yes that's the uh, cosmetic part of it okay then um, I usually when um, anniversary sale comes along I usually buy some um, uh, nadri items so this is um, these are the jewelry items that you can purchase from Nordstrom and they are really, really nice. I have quite a few items uh, from that line and I really, really have been enjoying. And this is actually the first time I'm getting uh, the items in 
like a bread box. I don't know if this is something new. They actually upgraded, updated, but I never had anything in a notary box. So anyway, let me show you guys. The first item is, <laughs> it's a bracelet. <laughs> so this is actually um, like a, I hope you can see it. This is like a rose gold uh, color with like a pave crystals. Um, it's really, really beautiful. Let me put this on so you guys can see it a little bit better. So this is on me and as you can see, it's, it's a very, very pretty bracelet. You can pick in different colors. The one that I picked is in the rose gold, but um, you can also get in just a yellow gold or like a silver kind of looking. Um, yeah, I think it's very, very beautiful. I have one uh, similar, but the, the ends kind of goes all together um, in the silver. So I didn't want to, I, I really like the look of the silver or platinum, but I really didn't want to go, you know, again with the same. So I picked the rose gold and I think it looks beautiful. So yeah, so this is my first pick from Nadri. And then the second item that I purchased from them also came in this beautiful box. <laughs> it's hard to see in the box. So I've got a necklace. So this one is actually in the in the silver color and has those little like um, I think it's called a station necklace. So these are like a little crystals, um, little beads as you can see, um, and it's pretty long. I forget actually how long it was, uh, but it's pretty long. Obviously, it's not gonna go with my with my outfit today. But I just want you to guys, there we go. I just want you guys to see, it's, it's very, very beautiful. So, um, and you can obviously, you can double it up on your you know, neck, so then you can have like, you know, something like that. So, yeah, I think it's right. I think this one was about, I'm gonna say it was about $60 or something around that. And the bracelet was 50 something, I think. So, yeah, so I think the Nadri, uh, Nadri jewelry is really really nice. It's not overly expensive and it's very pretty and like I said I have quite a few pieces from uh, from that line and I really have been enjoying it. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is <laughs> came in this box. So I'm sure you all know by now what it is. So this is my second Michelle Bot watch. Um, this is my first one that I ever purchased which was about two years ago. And this one's very elegant. It's like, you know, with diamonds and two tones, it was it was quite expensive. This one was quite pricey. This one, on the other hand, is more sporty. But um, this is one of the purchases that I'm not sure if I should keep. So this is the watch. There we go. I really love the kind of um, uh, turtle shell kind of <laughs> you know look to it. And uh, the reason I said it's sporty because it comes with a silicone um, strap. So it's pretty much gold, gold look with um, a brown silicone strap and this tortoiseshell kind of circle all around. Has, those are the little diamonds inside as well. Um, but because of the silicone strap, I think it gives like quite a sporty uh, look. Let me just put this on for you guys so you can see it. Um, quickly how it looks it's very comfortable but um, I'm just not sure if I really need it because most of the time I wear this uh, you know silver and gold um, you know kind of look so I'm not sure if this is really something I should keep or I don't know what do you guys think it's definitely more casual and obviously the price is you know, it's a it's a difference in price um, when you buy this kind of watch or you know this um, this one on anniversary sale was about two, I think it was two thirty around this this price, and normally I think it's three fifty. So um, yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> should I keep it or should I return? I don't know. I have to kind of kind of wear around the house and see how I like it. So anyway, so this is the watch. So I have one more thing that I want to show you guys, which also I'm not sure if I should keep. So I purchased a pair of shoes, there we go, and I really, really love them. <laughs> I mean, 
these are probably the most comfortable the most the leather um, here's the box the leather is just so incredible you guys so those are like a little slides <laughs> and they kind of remind me a little bit of like those um, Gucci slides but they are more casual you know less dressy and I'll tell you in a second why I love them but I think I might not hold on to them here's how they look like inside so they have like a pointy toe but at the same time this little um, you know the sole is giving like a little bit more of casual look to it um, very very beautiful now they are the most comfortable shoes <laughs> when you put it on your you know your feet and th this leather part is so incredibly soft and supple and it's just it's like when you walk it's like you walk on a cloud okay and then um, this is like over here as you can see this is like a little rubber part of it and that's where I have a problem so the, the shoe run perfectly I wear eight and a half and this is eight and a half what happened is when I walk the shoe has a pretty high arch okay so I feel like it stretched so much that my foot is pretty much just sliding it off after a few steps so I don't know if I should just <laughs> practice walking in these shoes or but I just feel like they, they are more for um, people who have very high arch in here. So the shoe will stay more. I mean, I cannot only imagine if I wear like an even thin sock, this will like slide off immediately. I was just wearing on, you know, barefoot and I had problems with my feet slipping off. So I don't know. I probably, again, I'll probably walk around the house a few more times and see. Because like I said, they are the most comfortable shoes on earth, but for some reason my foot is just sliding off. So here's the, here's the second one. Um, they have this very nice sole, which is pretty, pretty comfortable. Um, and they were around 100, I think 20 or 130 dollars. Um, and after the sale, I think they go 100 dollars more. So. Uh, there's nothing against the quality. I think it's just simply amazing, but I don't know. Uh, it, it's either my my feet or <laughs> or this this shoe is just made for someone who has like higher arch. So really, I wish there was no rubber band because the rubber is just elastic. It's just really giving. Even though it's it's kind of you know it's it's tough, but it's giving quite a bit when you walk. So it makes a little bit more you know. Um, stretchy I would say so I'm not sure so the shoes and the watch is just something I need to think about <laughs> all right guys so that's pretty much it this is all I purchased um, during that 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 anniversary sale anyway um, let me guys know what you think about the watch <laughs> this is just something I just because I have the you know like a brown Burberry watch, but I really do enjoy the Michelle watches, so I don't know. I just don't know if I'm kind of a silicone kind of girl and I, you know, I really wanted to see how it looks because I love, you know, like a look when I was looking on the website and I, I love the watch, but I'm just not sure if I'm, you know, not, I know you can probably change the straps, but um, they are quite pricey, you know, the, the strap is like hundred dollars which is like half of the value of your watch so I'm just not sure if it's worth it so um, let me guys know what you think thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye